YouTube recently reminded me that it's been 48 days since I put out a video. It's about time I gave you all an update of what's been going on. What's going on Reefers? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Blaine. This is the King Tide Corals channel. Am I even doing this right? It's been a while. I'm really excited to give you guys an update. It's been a minute and I think it's about time we showcased all the tanks here on the channel. And of course, I wanna show you guys a really nice pair of clownfish we recently grabbed for the lagoon from Strikers Reefing Company. I'm excited to showcase everything, give you guys some updates, talk shop with you all, and get updated with everyone. Let's go ahead and cut right to it and start talking tank. The first tank I wanna talk about is the UNS 5S Mangrove Pico tank. This has become one of my favorite projects I've ever actually created. Something about this small little Pico hanging out on my desk next to me while I work throughout the day has just become really fun. The mangroves have come into their own and the macroalgae has definitely started to spread. It's become quite the little jungle in here and I really like that. It's more of a natural wild feel and I've really always enjoyed that look for a lot of my mangrove and my macroalgae tanks. As for the livestock in this tank, I originally had a Watchman goby, and also I had the Lima shrimp in here, but both of those things have had their time and they're no longer in the Pico. I'm looking for something that's gonna be a really fun addition to this tank. I'd love to hear down in the comments below what you guys think I should add, but I've been recently thinking maybe it's time for some sexy shrimp to hang out and dance around in the mangroves. Let me know what you think. Next for a quick update is the Basslet tank. This tank has been really fun to watch develop and see grow in. I've added quite the amount of soft corals and some Calerpa has really started to take off. As of the time I took these videos, some of the Calerpa went sexual and I didn't really get a great chance to get a lot of good shots of this tank because it was pretty dirty and I had to do a quick water change so not everything was open. The Basslet has done amazing in this tank and he really seems to be enjoying his home. I'm really happy to be able to give you guys this update and we'll definitely have to do one soon. The next stop on our tour is the UNS 5N Lobster Lair. This tank has been a real joy. I've also really enjoyed keeping a purple reef lobster. I never thought I'd see myself setting up a specific tank with just macroalgae and a single invert, but this tank has been a ton of fun. All the different directions it's gone, I've really enjoyed which direction it's heading. I've seen that Sebastian tends to like a lot of the green macroalgae that I try to keep, so it tends to be more red dominant when it comes to macros. Overall though, this tank has been doing really well. Sebastian is super happy. He molted recently again, and that means he's growing and getting closer to world domination. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this tank as much as I do because I love the lobster lair. The last tank we'll check out before the lagoon is the frag tank. This is my most recent project and honestly, it's been my most challenging. I had a really tough bout with ick and I lost all the fish in my system. I lost my old clownfish pair, but luckily the fallow period has finally ended. It's time to add some workers into this system and start helping feed these corals. I have a lot of really great soft corals in this system already, but there's a ton of more room to be able to pack more in. But the main focus right now is adding some working fish to get into this tank to start helping clean up. I don't have all the time in the world to clean in between all the corals, so it's about time we get a little couple workhorses and get this thing cleaned up. The mangroves look great, all the corals are doing well, and overall the frag tank system is doing pretty good. It's on an upward trend, and I'm happy to see where this thing's gonna be heading. Now that we've gotten the chance to talk about some of the tanks around the office, I wanna talk about the clownfish pair we received for the lagoon and give you all an update on the lagoon tank in general. Let's go ahead flashback in time, check out when we received these clownfish in the mail. 
flashback. A super important box just came in. I'm really excited about getting it open with you guys. Finally, we have some more fish to add to the lagoon. So let's go ahead and cut right to it, get this thing open and check out what's inside. A flashback. I want to give a quick shout out to Strikers Reefing Company for making this happen and sending out this clownfish pair to me and for the lagoon. They're amazing specimens. I'm really excited to have them. They're an amazing addition to the tank and I'm just really grateful that you guys were able to source some really great fish. If you guys haven't checked out Strikers Reefing Company, be sure to do so. I'll leave a link to their website, to their social media, and definitely check it out. They have some really amazing fish that they put out. They quarantine, and I'm gonna say it once and a million times again, quarantine fish are definitely worth it. I'm really happy that I was able to receive these guys. They came in in great shape, and they look great in the lagoon. So happy to say that I have a pair of new clownfish in the tank, and it just kind of puts the tank back together for me. It was kind of missing something without the Spot Sanctus clownfish pair, so it's been really great to add a new pair, and I just wanna say thank you so much to Strikers Reefing Company for bringing this awesome pair in for me. The lagoon is on fire. I am super excited about where this tank currently stands. The new clownfish pair are absolutely stunning. The colors on them in person are absolutely unreal. And the corals are starting to look really good. I'm happy to say that a lot of the soft corals have started to grow in a little bit more. My weeping willow from Remy is doing super awesome. The Colorado sunburst is starting to gain a little bit of size and all the other corals are happy. I'm super excited where the lagoon's at. I'm happy to have some clownfish back in this tank, and I think finally it's starting to tie itself back together. When I lost the Spot Sanctus pair, I felt a little down and out, and I wasn't too sure about this tank. Also, after my rescape, I thought I liked it, but in reality, I really didn't. I was happy I went back, went back with a more simple U-shaped scape, a little bit open area in the front, and allow the soft corals to open up and fill in the void. I'm very excited about this tank. I have a couple more ideas of what I wanna do and add, but for now, I'm just gonna enjoy it and really soak in this amazing new clownfish pair. I wanna say thank you so much for tuning in to this video. It's been a while since I was able to make a video and give you all an update. The fact that I'm still receiving new subscribers and you guys are still showing me so much support means a ton to me. I wanna say thank you so much to you guys. I'm really excited about the near future. I'm hoping I can push out a lot more content, get back to making videos, and get back to connecting with you guys. I really wanna say thank you so much to every single one of you that have watched to this point in the video. And until next time, happy reefing.